Hello and welcome again to our YouTube channel. In today's video from the YouTube series, we are going to show you a simple trick which is how to make stairs for your Photoshop projects, uh, for your GIFs, and uh, for your website. These are either 3D stairs or manual stairs. Let me start directly. To make manual stairs, which is the should be the more difficult one. We shall start by having guidelines for our drawing. We may usually I select 1000 by 1000 canvas, pixel conference, and uh, I will select 20 by 20 guidelines just to point my steps. Okay. Now I will be selecting the straight line tool. Okay. I selected a small line. You can move the line directly if you like. Don't like it uh, to make the borders. Uh, you can make it with these stairs with borders. It's it's uh, it's totally up to you. Okay. And I will put my first point here. Okay. I will count, for example, two. I put my second line here. Then I will go here for three. I will go here, put my third point, and then I will go here, put my first, my fourth point. Okay. By default, this platform is filled with the white filling. Okay. Then I make another layer, not to mix it. Automatically, it will convert it to shape after that. And I select here this point, this point. That's the 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 height of my step here. And here to close the shape. Okay. And I'll be selecting this color, for example. Okay. I make another layer. All these layers are converted to shapes after that automatically. Control Shift N. Okay. And then I start putting my point here. Putting my point here. My point here. And here. And once more here. To close my shape, and then you can select the same filling color or a different one if you like. Maybe I select this one for this side from for the plug. Okay, so you can consider this one as a plug, as whatever you like. Okay, and then I will come, I will select my shapes, and I will deselect my background, and then I will right click and Merge visible. I'm having the option to merge shapes. I can, but usually it don't work for me, so I don't know why. So I'm going to merge them as merge visible. They become one shape, and I get I uh, I get my result. Then I return the background again. After that, I can duplicate this one. Okay, we call it second step. Okay, after that, I can move it. Now you have your second step. You move it either with your mouse or with the arrows. It's up to you till it comes to the position that you want it in. You can this to make the steps in, in, in a certain direction. And uh, going uh, from left to right, if you want to make it from right to left, just you bring your second step in the opposite way. It's up to you. Okay, and then I will duplicate this layer again. I will call it third step. Okay, and then I will move it again. Okay, like this you have your stairs, you can adjust it to be matching. You can use your guidelines as a guide uh, to make them equally, the, the steps equal. Okay, now let me go to uh, another screen and let me make uh, the 3D stairs. So 
I will select also view new guard layout okay I'll be selecting also the straight bin tool I'll making some steps I'll make also three steps like this one okay I'll make this a little bit longer the end step I'll close it here okay and then I will go to 3D new 3D extrusion from selected path no I don't like to, to go to 3D workspace only I need my path to be converted to 3D okay you can see here you can turn your stairs okay and you see it here like this that's your shape okay now suppose that you need to to change some usually it gives you these gray colors suppose that you need to change some of these colors so you can come here okay this one is the, the stairs themselves so then I know this so I return it back again and I click here it gives me the color is giving me this gray color if I click here I can change it to any shape I like I can make it like this one for example if you like it you have a lot of colors a lot of selections like this wood for example if you like to make it some woody color you can make it like this one from the sand for example if we kept this one that's good okay now if you click here on the shape you'll have your menu back for example if I need to select the side just I need to make sure that I'm selecting the right side okay I'm selecting the now the right side I return it back okay and then I double click on it also I need to change it I'll put some breaks in here now you got this fancy 3d stairs okay uh, now for example if I need to to make it in the sky I'll go to my first layer okay and I'll select filter clouds now we have this your stairs in the sky or we can put it on any image uh, you select okay I hope this little trick help will help you to generate great YouTube or in Photoshop projects and great great effects for your photos thank you very much for following join subscribe and wait for the next trick from the Photoshop series thank you very much for following so far